Hi there, I'm Mike. Uh, Mike. Um, I've done a couple of videos so far, and um, I figured it's about time to get in front of the stupid camera because I'm talking about uh, uh, behavior, uh, conservation, and minimalism, things you can do in the home or in a motorhome that you have here, 99 Bigfoot. Um, recently, I've been working on um, uh, quantifying my shower to see how much water it actually takes for me to take a shower. And um, I have two water meters installed. There's a video or two about them. I don't know how well you can see them there, but um, two um, fully mechanical water meters. They're magnetically coupled, so um, uh, the, the dials and everything stay dry. So um, anyway, um, what's it take for me to take a shower? Well, uh, to get good and clean, about six and a half liters of water. That's the best I've done so far. Um, it's about 14 pounds, if, uh, depending on how you're counting. But uh, it's not it's not a lot of water. Um, uh, but I can do better. Uh, that's close to two gallons, gallon and a half to two gallons somewhere in there. Um, there are a few things I could do better. But anyway, um, navy shower. There's plenty of information out there on what a navy shower is. Um, uh, but basically, it's just shutting the water off whenever you're not you're not using it. Um, turn the water on in the shower. Get yourself good and wet. Um, don't stand there all day with it on, of course. Uh, as soon as you're done and good and wet, you uh, turn the water off and uh, scrub yourself up. Take your time. That's what I do. Take my good old time, get myself good and clean. And uh, whenever I'm done, um, turn the water back on and rinse off, you know, in a reasonable amount of time. And doing that, I've gotten it down to less than two gallons of water. And I'm sure I could do even less than that. Um, one way I could do that is if I had a valve or something in here. Um, this shower head does have a valve, um, but from what I understand, it's not designed to shut off, and this one certainly doesn't. It trickles a little bit. Um, I want to actually be able to kill it entirely, so right now I shut the water off down here at the spigots, um, which forces me to have to readjust the water, um, so I don't care for that too much. Something else I'm going to try to do is actually take the wand off and see if I can more effectively uh, you know, wet myself or rinse myself. Um, so. Um, Anyway, enough talk. Let's uh, let's do this thing, huh? No, um, I uh, I take another shower here tonight and uh, see if I can get it a little bit lower. But um, what I found is that just having a smaller space um, and having a limited supply of water. I have a 66 gallon tank, um, about 30 gallons of gray water capacity. So you can't stand there and take a shower all day. You will you will fill up your tanks. Um, drain your, your freshwater tank. Not to mention the fact that it takes energy to run the pump, um, takes propane to heat the water, um, and when you have to deal with those resources, when you have to supply those resources, when you have to deal with your waste, um, it really it really pushes you to, uh, to conserve. Uh, especially anybody that wasn't going to be full-timing like we are, they were just uh, going out for a week with the family. Uh, you know, you want to go as long as you can without having to uh, to dump your tanks and to refill and get propane and everything else. Um, but um, you know, I'm trying to be somewhat self-sufficient, and um, that's pushing pushing me to conserve uh, conserve electricity, to conserve water. And uh, I like to think about it as uh, uh, some of these things that I do. I mean, Navy shower has been around for a long time. That's nothing new, but um, uh, various techniques that you might use to try to conserve energy or to conserve resources of, of any kind. Um, when something's made inconvenient, um, yet you're trying to conserve, you're going to find easier ways to conserve. Um, uh, technology should serve us well. It should, um, it should benefit us, but it should make life easier. You shouldn't have to uh, be constantly inconvenient, so, so we look for things to, to make life a little bit easier. Uh, little things um, and feedback is important like I said if you have a freshwater tank that you have to refill regularly that's a bit of a feedback uh, even if you're not quantifying it the way that I am um, uh, where I'm actually measuring the amount of water just knowing that you have to empty fill your freshwater tank weekly dump your you know black water tank and your your gray water tank bi-weekly whatever it is um, that's a little bit of feedback to know to know what you're using and um, I just I want to take that to the next level. I used to have a, a energy detective, a, a system uh, for 120 volt AC, 240 volt AC um, households 
that um, monitors your, your electrical consumption and then graphs it in front of you. Now, I would consciously use that information to try to reduce my energy consumption, but just having that feedback, just having that number in front of you, um, it, it does wonders to change your behavior, to have you turning off lights like, you know, half the lights are on in here right now, but I just got more LEDs, so I'm seeing how it feels. Um, but uh, yeah, feedback, definitely lots of feedback. So I have the water meters that I can, I can measure uh, my water consumption. Um, I haven't verified the accuracy, accuracy of them, but um, they seem to be pretty close just with my little measuring cup apparatus there. Um, I'm going to weigh some of the water and um, get a little bit better result. But um, uh, something else, feedback again, uh, it's a DC system, battery powered system. Um, I plan on having a, uh, a battery monitor, which is uh, this bad boy right here. It uh, does have an inline shunt. Um, monitor my, my power consumption. Um, in addition to that, I want to be able to monitor the um, operation of my fridge, my water heater, or excuse me, my water heaters over there, and my, um, my LP gas furnace. Um, going to have some solar panels and some wind turbines so I can monitor the voltage and amperage. Uh, state of those at any particular time and have those meters out and, and easily visible probably down here below the fridge uh, Maybe along this wall here. I'd like them a little bit higher up here on this this wall if I could but um, But the fridge is really right on the other side. And there's a layer of insulation so um, Yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun uh, <laughs> Maybe it's not for everybody if, if you're um if you're in a home or an apartment, you're hooked up to the city water, and you turn that spigot on, and it just keeps running and running and running. Um, I don't want to say there's less incentive to conserve water, but <clears throat> it's less apparent because you can that water will just run continuously, and it'll just keep on running down the drain until you know there's hairball clogs it or something. But but really, um, in terms of conservation, um, starting with less makes you use less, and um, and it changes your behavior. If if you go out and get all new energy efficient appliances and light bulbs and things like that, yeah, you're probably going to save a good bit of energy just just simply because you you installed those things or less of energy waste, whether you change your behavior or not. But um, there's always the risk that because you have the more energy efficient light bulb that you're going to leave it on more often. I, I don't know what the word for that is. There's got to be a term out there um, for for being more wasteful because you have uh, more efficient products. The most important thing I can think to do is just to change lifestyle, um, to, to change the way that you interact with the world. And one of the ways to do that is uh, um, to make it easy. I don't want to have to take a sponge bath. Um, I don't want to have to uh, uh, you know, go back to the Stone Age. I want to use technology. I just want to use it responsibly. Um, not, not, not waste energy. Um, so, anyway, hell, that's, it's a good first take. We'll, we'll, we'll stick to that.